the affordable sports car. The second generation of the car now known as the Toyota GR86 has arrived, that GR designation indicating the involvement of Toyota's Gazoo Racing Division. This uppity little 2x2 has been completely redesigned for the 22 model year. Let's take a closer look. It won't be news to enthusiasts that the GR86 is very closely related to the Subaru BRZ. Both roll off the same Subaru assembly line in Gunma, Japan, and both share the same fundamentals. Toyota puts its own stamp on the GR86 through slightly different engine tuning, chassis and suspension adjustments, and, of course, the looks. Toyota opted for a more outright sinister appearance for the GR86's front-end design, with a simply blacked-out grille as opposed to the maniacal grin chosen for the BRZ and similar vehicles like the Mazda MX-5. Styling is subjective, but to us this look is clean and classy. The side panels are shared with the BRZ, but there's a duckbill spoiler on the premium grade of the GR86 that's not otherwise offered on either car. If this adds to the look you're going for, you'll want to stick around to learn more. Under the hood, the GR86 houses a 2.4-liter engine with four horizontally opposed cylinders, producing 228 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque that peaks at 3,700 RPM. This is a vast improvement over the 6,600 RPM peak on the previous generation 86. This is the same engine that goes into the BRZ, and the six-speed manual transmission we tested is shared between both cars as well. A six-speed automatic is offered, but as proud representatives of the Manual Transmission Preservation Society, we're delighted to announce that this is one of the better manual transmissions we've come across in recent years. The throws are snappy, clutch pedal travel is short and springy, and the lower gear ratios are nice and short to get the engine up to peak revs quickly, which are easy to monitor through the combination speedometer and digital tachometer in the center of the instrument cluster. There's no feel lost in the switch to electronic power steering. Turn in is quick and precise. Although there's no rev matching system as found on more expensive manual transmission cars, there is a digital shifting guide for those who want it. And with a curb weight of just 1,285 kilograms, or 2,833 pounds, the engine has no trouble putting everything into motion. Put that all together, and this car is an autocrosser's dream. As for ride and handling, well, yes, it is stiff, and you'll feel that on these winter-ravaged Canadian roads. However, one, that's to be expected from any sports car, two, it's not as bad as it could be, and three, it's unreasonable to expect miracles for less than $40,000, or, to be exact, $34,490 Canadian for this premium grade. Add in the $1,820 destination charge, and that's a total cost of $36,437. This rear-wheel drive coupe makes up for it in its cornering ability, aided by a double wishbone rear suspension and a Torsen limited slip differential with 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels wrapped on the premium grade in Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires. Interior components are largely shared between the GR86 and the BRZ, and Subaru plays a heavy hand in it. Plus, there are some quirky things. The glove box looks like it was shoved into place as an afterthought, and don't even consider planning to use a second row on a regular basis. Headroom and legroom aren't really reasonable for adults or even my preteen, and space is so short that the passengers here have to share the cup holders at the back of the center console with the people in the front row. Those forward occupants will be much happier, though. There's plenty of seat adjustment for both taller and shorter adults, provided they don't need to compete with anyone in the back. Having those cup holders tucked away means there's nothing to compete with the manual shifter's operation, and the doors have been shaped to accommodate tall bottles on each side. There are heated front seats on the premium grade, but do note they're not standard. Ventilated seats are not offered, which may not be an issue for most buyers, but it is disappointing to see that a heated steering wheel isn't available either. Given that at one point the previous Generation 86's backup camera was a projection into the rearview mirror, technology-wise, just about anything was going to be an improvement. The 8-inch touchscreen isn't fancy, but it's relatively easy to use, and it gets the job done. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard equipment, but they connect by wire. However, you'll need to plug your phone in anyway to charge it, since there are two USB ports, but no wireless charging pad. Trunk space is the same in the GR86 as in the BRZ at 178 litres. That's more than the 130 litres in an MX-5, but it's also a relatively shallow space with a higher load floor than you might expect. Just like the BRZ, there are safety features available here, but most of them can only be equipped with the automatic transmission due to the limitations presented by the manual. The GR86 Premium comes with blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert regardless of which transmission you choose, but to get radar cruise control, pre-collision braking, lane departure warning, and lead vehicle start alert, basically everything in Subaru's EyeSight suite of technologies, you'll need to opt for the auto. Automatic high beams are also an automatic only feature. 
One final technicality that's important to cover is that the Toyota is slightly more expensive than the Subaru by roughly $2,000 in each configuration. If you like the look of the Toyota more, or the feel of the slightly altered suspension tuning, or if brand loyalty is a driving factor, then you may find the GR86 is worth the premium. But any way you slice it, this little car is a riot. The satisfaction you feel when you downshift and pull out for a pass on a two-lane road, effortlessly leaving slower traffic behind, is worth the price of admission. And it gets to the heart of what the love of driving is all about. For Driving.ca, I'm Stephanie Wallcraft. For more reviews of sports cars and other vehicle types, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media.